Hey people, Indrid here, VV3, SDR Province, Blue Team. Deathclaw as a leak to Alpha, a melee specialist to infiltrate disrupt, some powerful offense and a bit of support alongside Sky as a war boss, a melee hero, walking through objects, very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines. And rounding off this team is Doom Trooper as a brother captain, a durable hero, walking through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and support fighting in melee. Red team, we got some Space Marines. First up is Nova Sit as a Force Commander with very strong offense fighting in melee combat. Can also tank, disrupt, and support. Alongside Klaus Schwab, also known as a Virtually Generous, rocking an Apothecary support hero fighting in melee combat by default. Begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Rounded off the teams, Corn Bite as a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fighting in melee. Begins with a Refractor Shield. They're on the east side against the brother captain. It must have been pretty naughty here, Mr. Lord Commissar. West side kicking off. Bunch of tactical marines showing up. Former Gaunts don't like it, so they run. Put the carry and the force commander hanging out. West side is turned red. Triple Horma Gaunts for Deathclaw. Yes, it is. Warboss needs to make a decision about where they're going. Got triple sluggers. They're bashing the power southwest. Space Marines don't like it. Force commander popped the battle cry. But they still haven't done an attack. They didn't target something properly. Scouts with a shotgun blast. Sluggers with burners here. Goes them a couple of power weapons. Makes them much more dangerous. Against Marines, those guys trying to finish the bash. Force Commander's not happy. But can't stop them. They get the bash and they run. And these Marines in big trouble. Overtly generous dropping their tactical Marines there. Caught by former Gaunts and they lick to Alpha. And a war boss, I guess. Sluggers are also in there. And the Apothecary falls. Flesh hooked at the end by Deathclaw. Level 2, Lick to Alpha. Rough start for the red team. Got their power bashed a bit. Lost Marines and an Apothecary. Sentinel does get repairs and has the ground pound. That's going to help try and keep the brother captain at bay. Purgation on the way there for Doom Trooper. What does Overtly do now? Just got revived by the Force Commander. Backs off a bit, tries to stay in play. I think just healed the Force Commander there. Who's in amongst these knee deep in Hormogorts. Lick to Alpha stays on him. Doing around, I think it's around 63 DPS by default, the Lick to Alpha in melee. Whereas the Force Commander does around 40, but he does have a bolt pistol as well, of course. And more hit points and other things. Scouts with those shotguns doing some good work. Anything for overtly sh scouts? Nope. On the east side then. Strike Squad have their Tomes of Titan. They've been reading up on how to do fancy Psyker things. Back towards the mid. Scouts getting caught. These are overtly scouts trying to sneak away. Getting to a good retreating spot. This was sneaky though by Sky. Got around the other side. Almost wiped the scouts. Overtly still hasn't replaced the tactical marines. Did they buy war gear? Oh, purification rights is what he bought. That was Aura of Discipline from the Lord Commissar. Those pulses of healing and the power sword in play. Getting doubled though, 2v1. Not a whole lot that Overtly can do to help really. They're on the west side actually. Because I think they want to mill around and bash this power at some point. Meanwhile... Their power's being bashed in the southeast. And the war boss with the boss pole is buffing all this stuff here. Even the Grey Knights are impressed by his boss pole. This is... Oh, Nova Sith has come over to the east side to try and help. Overtly is getting shotguns and sergeant for the scouts. Are they just going to go tier 2 now? Oh, customized Stormbolt is in. All the sluggers run, but they all have burners. They do. Assault squad trying to finish off that very low slugger squad. And they get them. One of the sluggers down. Looks like Ard Boys was put on those fellas. Warboss also gets away. For the Emperor thrown down on the assault squad. That's a global buff from the force commander. Grenade. Doesn't quite hit that brother captain. Any war gear for this guy? No. Oh, they've got into interceptors though. Lot of power spent upgrading and getting new squads then. Stormtroopers 
Don't have any upgrades though. Back towards the southwest power. It's again being bashed by Deathclaw, who did drop one of their former gaunts. Sky, by the way, has replaced the lost sluggers. Already gets them the burners as well. Is it 20% more hit points it gives them? Yeah. So very useful upgrade for those fellas in tier 1. Allows you to be much more aggressive with them. Interceptors coming in. There's we are the hammer popped and everything there from the brother captain. That disruptive teleport they have is bad news for those guards when they just have to run apparently. Now it might be the first time they saw him. So perhaps the sentinel will try and keep close to the guardsmen now. To stomp anything that jumps in like that. Got a lot of things to stomp though, isn't he? This sentinel driver. Brother Captain Warboss, a whole bunch of sluggers. And the melee Automalia stuff. What is this? That is overtly trying to cap back this wreck point. Meanwhile, power bashing from Nova Sith. No flamer in. They got enough bodies here, I think, to do some decent bashing, though. Deathclaw. Still the two Hormagaunt broods. They do have adrenal glands. But they are floating, aren't they? Yeah, they are floating in tier 1. They could go to tier 2. Scouts get flesh hooks. Shotgun blast goes down. Very calm response from Oversit. Does not panic retreat those scouts. Keeps them in play, actually. Lick to Alpha. Oh, fully kitted out. Feeder tendrils. A power weapon that heals the Lick to Alpha on hit. Percentage based. Adrenal glands for more health, more energy, and all that good stuff. And the pheromone cloud. To debuff enemies and allow allies to reinforce. There's for the Emperor on the assault squad again. Gives them 25% more damage output. And they jump out. Why did they jump out? They barely lost any hit points. That was weird. Thought they'd stay in and fight the Hormagod brute there. Victor Alpha getting the Force Commander very, very low on hit points. Trying to time the retreat, but can't get it. Tried to move away first and then retreat so they didn't get hit. And tried to body block a bit. Didn't pay off. But should get revived from there. Can they get this Lictor Alpha down? They can. Assault Squad now with their Sergeant. This is a 2911 replay, by the way. So we are fully caught up in versions. So they get that new Merciless Strike. I think they nerfed the damage on it, but it's now much quicker to cast. Former Gaunt Brood doing some good work, though, and staying in play well there. Nova Sits Tactical Marines did get away. Overtly goes Tier 2 with no other units on the field. Apothecary hitting level 2, getting some free shots. or well, not free. They are taking shots back, but these guys are just trying to cap here. Here come all the Orcs. Tyrant Guard on the way for Deathclaw. That should do some good work on that side. Can mince through the Assault Squad quite well. Brother Carey, sorry, Brother Captain revives the Elixir Alpha. Brother Carey may be looking for the Force Commander revive, but couldn't quite get to it. And here's some shotgun scouts. They can't suppress or knock back the Brother Captain, but the shotgun was enough, or the various shotguns enough to get him to back off there. What is this? So push up the east side from Cornbite. Every weapon squad sets up. And the stomp goes in. Only hit one model though. Able to teleport in on the heavy weapon squad. The shield there preventing the knockback. And the Lord Commissar goes straight after them with the power sword. And does some good work there. Killed one. Gets rid of them. Heavy weapon squad trying to set up again. Strike squad coming in. Getting some really good damage at close range with the heavy bolter. But the strike squad able to face tank it. And brute force their way through and maybe wipe out those guys. Sentinel gets a very, very clutch stomp there. Which I think saved those fellas. Because Storm Bolt has maybe been able to get it done. There is the Purge Soul ability. Which is a big change for the Purgation. It does percentage based damage to, to the entity and slows them down. So really good for single entities such as heroes of course with high hit point pulls because it's like a couple of couple of percent per second 
up to a map up to 25% you could if you channel it the whole way I think so very interesting to see how that ability does especially since it gives you a slow not a suppression you just slow them down Lord Commissar certainly didn't like it there 349 to 421 I mean they do have still limited range of their incinerators so it's not like I can cast it from miles away War truck on the field, supporting Sky's infantry army here. Triple, fully upgraded sluggers, incredibly mean. Supported by the war truck, they can reinforce off it. And a weird boy on the field, with bigger brains for over there, can just chuck those sluggers into combat. Warphead on the way, and we may also get the war path as well, of course. 324 to 421. Lick to Alpha taken out, trying to, well, looks like they successfully decapped this VP at least. West side, got some plasma attacks. This was a nerfed plasma gun. Dreadnought fighting the Tyrant Guard. And what is this? It's a call-in. We have a Venom Brood coming in from Deathclaw. Unique call-in for the Lick to Alpha, but the Dreadnought just marched right up to him, so it wasn't a great spot in the end. And a Gene Stiller Brood on the field. Melee superiority unit with power melee damage. Tells you they're on a unit card now. Look at that. I love that change. Infantry fire resist armor. Can't remember how much they resist it. It's like 20%, I think, or something. Lots of melee squads have that fire resistant armor. I think Sluggers have it, don't they? Yeah. I believe Katachins have it as well on Howling Banshees and stuff. And Heretics. Grey Knight Dreadnought on the field. Didn't this thing get a new model? I think it did. Not as drastically different as the Brother Captain. The helmet looks different there. The textures maybe look a bit different too. It's a bit darker. Dreadnought is in there. Getting debuffed by something. They're getting debuffed by it, was it? Pheromones wouldn't debuff this guy. Oh, they're getting debuffed by the... Uh, getting debuffed by the Ripper Swarm in there, slowing it down a bit. Lots of shots from the Venom Brew. Can they finish it off? Assault Squad. Oh, Assault Squad wasn't on them. Assault Squad are on the gens. I wonder if that was a misclick. They were so close to the generators there, but that maybe they tried to target the Venom Brood and they didn't. Venom Brood gets away with two models. Dreadnought goes down. It was actually, actually a Tyrant Guard that got it. Gene Sida Brood down to three models. They need to avoid this fight, I think. No, apparently not. Oh, they're going to try and get the Pheromone up to reinforce them. There it is. Stern Guard Veterans dropped in. This is now the only way to get Stern Guard Veterans from the drop pod. No longer are they an upgrade for the Tactical Marines. A big change for the Space Marine faction. Those guys dropped into the wrong neighborhood, though, with tripled sluggers behind them. They were able to make it out. And overtly went Tier 3 with only scouts on the field. And Red Team are still pushing the east side. Ogrin's on the field here for Corn Bite. Bulgrin's got some buffs. Maybe we'll see them in tier 3. I think they now have a... I think it's like a 25% range damage reduction out the gate. And user shield no longer slows them down, I believe. Those guys pulled into plasma guns and ogrins and an angry Lord Commissar by overtly Zapothecary who has combat stims, so no advanced healing. Oh wow, those interceptors got... Absolutely demolished there. Incinerator. Or whatever this um, flamer is. Suppressing the Ogrins, eh? Oh, look at this thing. What is that effect? Is that ward? Is that the new ward? Oh, that might be... That might be um, Mind Blades. New... New visuals for mind blades that's the global of the brother captain which is very much like use your choppers of course that's a cool visual it's like a sword with a blue thing sentinel level two with missile launcher getting some decent hits nemesis warding stuff is that a new model for it it looks new yeah i'm pretty sure that's new it is a power weapon still and has the ward ability i think it's i think ward is 30 percent 
And there it is. It's now purple, I guess. And knock back immunity. Can the brother captain make it out of there, though? Nope. Down they go. War boss with a bang bang hammer. Cyborg implants. So they've got mind blades, use your choppers, bang bang hammer buffs, boss pole buffs, ward buffs. We are the hammer buffs. Huge amount of ways they can buff this big melee stack of walks here. Brother Captain back to his feet. War boss almost level 5 now. What's going on? The west side. It's turning red thanks to overtly scouts. He's got some terminators up now. There's that cyclone missile launcher. And yes, even it can even bash power. It can just do everything. I was very surprised that it never got nerfed. It's just mass. It's just so popular in 3v3s. It does so much for you. It messes up infantry, vehicles, obviously. Power bashing. And it's got like a 40 second cooldown or something. And Terminators don't actually have energy so it's not like you're preventing them from teleporting by spamming the um, barrage the teleport is just on cooldown 129 to 407 big VP lead for the red team I haven't really been paying attention to the VPs overtly was down to a single scout squad for like 15 minutes it felt like and yet they are almost 300 points ahead on VPs force commander here with a thunder hammer. Maybe they should have pushed the mid more. The blue team, that is. But they had um, Cornbite putting some really good pressure on the east side. They couldn't commit to the mid. There's the warpath now as well. Also gets the void boy up to 1642 hit points at level 2. That's kind of nuts. That's kind of insane. The amount of hit points that guy can get. And he has um, commander armor, right? No, only has infantry armor, the weird boy. Really? Okay, that makes more sense with his massive health pool, I suppose. Assuming that's accurate. I assume it is. Force Commander now has a sacred standard. Constant damage buffs to nearby in uh, allies. And if he falls over, goes up to 40%. Blue team retake the west side. Terminators leading the line, getting those inspirations on kill. Which will stack with the battle cry and with the sacred standard, of course. Force Commander goes in. That's what the hammer can do. Look at that knockback. Maybe too much for him to handle, though. Yep, Force Commander goes down. Sentinel did get a shot there on the war track. That is Canticle of Absolution. Another amazing way to support this big blob of melee stuff. They're kind of running out of it, though. That gives health and energy regen. Teleporting back are the Terminators. They could find themselves in a big old melee fight with Sluggers though. Are the Sluggers moving? What is going on here? They're running away now. Is that Librarian in there I saw? Yep. Librarian in there from overtly. Can support the Terminators with Gate of Infinity now. Or any other ally that gets into trouble. 101 to 366, 2 to 1 for blue. A haphazard push. I think maybe they could have done a bit better on that push. They did kill the force commander down, but that ended up just buffing everything even more by 40%. Nova sits. Assault squad has been wiped at some point. Maybe it was right there and I wasn't paying attention. Tis possible there's another body there. Or well, maybe they died ages ago. There's another. Cyclone Missile Launcher Power Bash, look. Still some Hormagaunts alive. Pirate Guard goes into Shield Wall. Swarm Lord on the way. And the Knob Squad is on the field. Sky did drop one of their Sluggers. But they replaced it with something way more dangerous. Awesome special attack there from the Librarian. 96 to 350. Blue team need to stabilize their VPs here. Parent Guard could do it some more healing, but he's going in. War boss is there with the boss pole, level 5 now. Big 
melee rush that I don't think the red team can handle at the moment. Level 8 Apothecary though, eh? Is it worth... I oh, they have purification rights, that's right. I thought that was medical equipment for a second. That can help them disrupt something. Stern Guard getting away. Dropped a couple of models though. Force Squad are trying to disrupt the Nob Squad. Level 6 here. We'll do a very good job of it as, as long as Battle Cry is active, of course. It's not going to be active forever. There's user choppers. And they just pop their frenzy. Force Corner runs away. It looks like he's going to make it. Now they chase down the Terminators. How are they running so fast? What's going on here? Looked like a bunch of units were sped up for a second. Like they were being affected by the warpath or something. Very odd. Now I have two librarians on the field. Unless they just had Veil of Time on them and I couldn't see it. Did Veil of Time get a new effect? Maybe. That's my only that's my only explanation at the moment. Unless I'm missing something obvious. Warboss trying to kick a Terminator to death there. Now gets onto the Stern Guard and now runs away. Where's that Swarm Lord at? There he is. Super unit for Tyranids, powerful melee combatant that provides a speed and reinforcement synapse to other Tyranids. We have some Grey Knight Terminators on the field, just got a Psy Cannon in. Still feel like their models are a little bit small here. The Brother Captain and those Terminators and also in turn the Paladins. Look to Alpha getting a decap on Red Team's Natural. Needs to do a bunch of that, I think. They can't get a triple though because Tax just grabbed the Western VP and power bashing again with the Cyclone Missile Launcher. Tyrion is on a retreat path. More Terminators in for overtly and of course they are getting the Cyclone immediately. Doesn't want to engage all of that Stone Guard using Vengeance Rounds. They'll be good against the Tyrant Guard and also the Swarm Lord. Not against the Nob Squad though, they want to be using Kraken Bolts against the Nob Squad. There's a Foot of Gork. Decent hits in there. Got things moving as well. Terminators have used their teleport now. And all of this stuff is sped up by the Swarm Lord of course. Or the Weird Boy. Look at that Cyclone Missile Launcher Barrage again. And the Force Barrier of the Force Staff. They've been very effective so far, the Red Team. That creeping up, pushing up, bashing that power, and then backing off again, using their tools for backing off. Stern God having to run, Tax having to run, Terminators of course cannot retreat. Force Squad are doing a good job slowing down the Nob Squad, because they're incredibly dangerous against the Terminators. That was some Gate of Infinity there to get those guys to safety. And the Force Commander even made it out. Lictor Alpha gets revived. Level 5. Maybe worth using Menacing Visage to terrify stuff. Is that what it's called? I forget. I know the ability is called Terrify. Just make um, one of the, the Stern Guard or attacks or something run away immediately. Tyranna Formation, 49 to 318. Looks like a big push up the east side here by Cornbite. He's got some Bulgrins in now. 2400 hit points. Plasma Cannon Dreadnought though. Lord Commissar goes in to smack it a bit. Grey Knight Terminator should do a good job against the Bulgrins, but they're very low right now, taking Plasma Gun shots and stuff. And the Brother Captain's down too, so no support there. Back on the west side, Weird Boy taken out. It's going to float around a bit and then explode. Usually to no avail. Goes into the his own units here and knocks down some Venom Brood. Well, his own allies. What is this? All the way back into base. Allows for the power bash. And looks like the Sentinel maybe decapped the VP. Bulgrin's taking a lot of 
slightly unnecessary damage. A single strike squad model tries to get the cap going. 49 to 306. Paladins on the field now for Doom Trooper. These guys unique to the Brother Captain. Heavy melee Nemesis Demon Hammers. Yeah, they need to be bigger. They're like dwarfed by these Bulgrins here, these guys. Force Squanner levels to 7. Brother Curry level 10 yet? Yeah. 200 energy. I haven't noticed the combat stims, but I'm sure they've been used every fight. It's hard to tell because the it's the same it's the same visuals as this that you get from Battle Cry to see Yellow Circle, I think. Big push again from the blue team. Lots of damage on the Swarm Lord, eh? Does have a way to self-heal in the field with Leech Essence though. Double Cyclone time. Good disruption. And some actually good damage on that knob squad, actually. Took a bit of a chunk off their hit points. Kashukin on the field for Corn Bites. 49 to 246. Is that the Lictor Alpha? It is. Used full auto, but it doesn't knock back the Lictor, so he was fine with it. And then promptly dies. Double Terminator shooting you will do that. Bulgrin is still level 1. Ready to crunch. Did they change their mauls? Yeah, they look a bit different. Battle rights here now from the Brother Captain. None shall fall, popped by the Lord Commissar, though. And the Fist of Brockus. Canticle Absolution thrown in. You need to try and kill the Lord Commissar so this none shall fall effect stops. And is that loyal to the end as well? That's a weird combo. They're absolutely destroying the Brother Captain and the Paladins. Brother Captain goes down. The Grey Knight Terminators weren't actually meleeing there. Is that Holy Grounds? Yeah, Holy Grounds is up. Can the Paladins get away though? They teleport and they get away. Grey Knight Terminator is going in on the Lord Commissar. And I was going to say quickly take him down, but he actually makes it out somehow. There's a stomp. Are these guys done for? Kasukin Plasma. So much plasma and down they go. Big mistake not throwing the Terminators in earlier. They seem to be on range stance and then maybe they forgot about it. Two knob squads on the field now for Sky both running out. War boss is level 7. Sluggers finished the cap. Triple in for the blue team. There is a triple in. What happened here? I don't think anything happened. I thought maybe they overtly lost the Terminator and replaced them because they're after the the Librarian, but I think they were always after the Librarian. A Predator tank for Nova Sit. The Paladins did make it away. Need to be reinforced. And the Brother Captain fell down again as we saw. West side, can they grab it back with Stone Guard? Well, they can get a decap at least so fast on the capping there, as you can see. 49 to 116. Lick to Alpha now with the Lone Hunter. And that is the same graphic as Boss Pole, like the Boss Pole buff, I think. Telling us that Lone Hunter is active, but has a bunch of power fists. Looks like it's going to be alright. Double cap for Red Team again. Blue Team on the brink. There's a 2 to 1. And an orbital was thrown down west side. Not sure what it did exactly. This seems like it just made them back off, maybe. Red team pushing, blue team's natural. Good hits there from the Sentinel. Level 4 Sentinel for Cornbite. And just a wall of plasma guns. And a rocket run. And there's the none shall fall. Looks like they just toughed it out. Holy ground's thrown in. A bunker puts up. Excellent stomp from the Sentinel. 12 to 116. More Terminators for overtly generous on the field now. Mind Blades up on the um, Knob Squad there. Didn't put it on his own Paladins, which seems like quite a lot of heresy. And the red team get the victory. Blue team, blue team just couldn't grind them down. 
They had a rough time in the engagements being effective, it seemed like. Even though they had that big dangerous melee blob, the red team dealt with it really well. Just by kind of being patient and not overextending. And triple terminators with triple cyclone missile launchers is always a big problem, eh? Level 5 Lictor Alpha. Level 7 Warboss. And level 4 Brother Captain all down at the end. Level 9 Force Commander in play. Artificer and that Sacred Standard, of course. Level 10 Apothecary seems to be level 10 for like 15 minutes. With combat stims this time, purification rights, and customized Storm Bolter. And level 7 Commissar did a great job on the east side, did Corn Bite. That Fist of Brock is doing some work. And there you have it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.